That's something that I need to say. I've been looking into the definition of a hair. And I've noticed so much about them. I've put up a couple of videos and the definition of a hater being one that cannot see the success of another and cannot be happy with it, or one that feels contempt for another's success. And I was trying to make a point across of why you hate. You know, I'm going to I'm going to say something right, and it's going to touch you. And it's going to it's going to make you think, and it's going to it's going to heart fill you, right? I'm going to have to say something honest here. I never got to say it last time because my camera battery cut off, so I'm going to say it now. It may take up to nine minutes, but I'm going to get my point across. Haters, lovers, all these, the entire world is on here. The whole world is on YouTube. Right? See when I when I become more older than I am and I have a, a child, I want to know that they are going to be the generation inventing tomorrow's technology, right? YouTube is a community and it is a community of not just a community of where you're from in your country. Not not a, a community of where you're from in your city. It's not a a white side versus a black side. It's it's a huge community of the entire world. The entire world's at your fingertips. It's a community where old people can talk to young people. Where the most lonely man in the world can be the most popular and most loved man known. Where people who have talent can be discovered. YouTube isn't just something that we control. It is a bloody ingenious way of technology. When the internet was first created, the internet was not intended for us. The internet was intended for big multi-billionaire businesses to get themselves even more money. But porn came, and porn destructed the entire internet when we got it. It was more for porn than anything. YouTube has, has got rid of that. The internet was for porn, that was true, but not anymore. Now it's a community, now it's what it should have been. It is us talking to one another, it is us making each other laugh. And I've seen videos that make me laugh, and I've seen videos that make me upset, and I've seen videos that, that astound me and amaze me. I've seen magic tricks, and I've seen, you know, coke and menthol, so I've seen all this. I have a choice to watch that video. I'm not going to hate that person. Just because they've worked so hard that they've actually managed to become successful, proving that they're a good person and they're bringing happiness and joy to everyone else, I don't see how anyone can possibly hate those people or try to bring them down. Because without them doing what they do, we wouldn't be able to sit there and watch that stuff and think up of our stuff of our own and be able to come out with good stuff and be able to make people laugh. I mean, I might not have got into YouTube had I not seen someone like the Hilly 8. You might say, oh yeah, uh, Tyrant, you've got a, a crush on your Hilly 8. But that is not true. It was the Hilly 8, it was the first video that I ever saw, and that was what got me to do my videos, and that's what got me to uh, do them so stupidly and evilly. If anything, I owe the Hilly 8 a hell of a lot of my own success, even though I don't really have a lot of success. But I've got no grudges against them, as you s seem to believe. It is a huge thing where we all meet one another and we all talk to one another. I don't care that she's Australian, she's part of the community. You're part of the community, you're watching it right now. If you're ginger haired, if you're black haired, if you're Asian, if you're if you're from anywhere in the world, if you're top if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're bi, if you're trans, whatever you are, to all these, if you're not of a father, if he's do of a father, if he's play music, if he's can't play music for the life of you, if he's an emo, if he's a skater, if he's a anything, these are all on here, and these are all holding hands, and these are all supporting one another. I've seen it. I've seen you supporting you, and I've seen you supporting you. I've seen you subscribe to you, and I've seen you subscribe to you. And Renetto comes up with so many amazing points towards this, but he doesn't realise that fighting against poverty, YouTube is one of the biggest websites that can fight against poverty, because it doesn't stand for race, and it doesn't stand for class, it doesn't stand for richness, and it doesn't stand for poor. I've seen I've seen people buy other people's cameras. Cameras, ask Bohem. Bohem was bought a camera when he lost his job. And Bohem will be heartfelt and tell you things about him. And he 
is honest about himself and I respect that man for every ounce of what he can say and what he can do. I've got nothing against anyone on YouTube who's successful. And I don't want the future of YouTube destroyed because my children, when they grow up, will turn around and go, that, that was suck, that was shite, that was back in the past, that was like music. It is not like music. People will all have their own personality, but we'll all share that personality. You see the big scientists stand up and saying, the reason is it's monkey see, monkey do. You see someone on there and you think, oh, I want to do the same thing as well. But it's not monkey see, monkey do. Every human being has a connection with one another. Look at what happened when Steve Irwin died, right? I was so upset about that. I didn't know him personally, but my connection with this guy being alive, because we're human, was so strong that when he died, it felt as if a part of me died. And yet, that wasn't like I watched him all the time, because the human being connection is so strong, no matter where you are in the world, when we landed in the moon, when, when the Twin Towers fell, we all stood together, and we all held hand in hand, and we all got each other through the, the amazing moments, and through the, the sad and tragic moments, and... YouTube is the next generation of entertainment, but it's not the next generation of corrupt entertainment, and it's not a place where we should be going on and hating one another because of our success, because that success could bring you success, and what are you going to do? You know what goes around comes around, and if people want to make fun of me and stuff, I'm fine with it, that's the thing, because I've made fun of them, I've gave out, and they can give to me. I'm not wanting to become hugely famous or anything. I'm just wanting to be part of this community. Everyone wants to be part of the YouTube community. Everyone says it's a big fight for fame. It's a big fight against world popularity. That is crap. Do not let them taint you. Listen to YouTube's advice. Don't listen to the YouTube's news or the people on the YouTube's news telling you that these people are actually trying to take each other down in real life. If I met any of the people that I knew online, whether they were famous or not, I would shake their hand and congratulate them for whatever they've done. The thing is, every Everything that they do is what moves us a step closer to improving and getting better in the future. So I'm not trying to compete with anyone or bring anyone down. This whole rating system and everything like that is a bit crap as well because of the fact that they're making it out, you know. Oh no, I didn't get on the Daily Features list. Uh, P Diddy got on the Daily Features list to announce his new album. That doesn't matter. You've made your video. You've put it out. The people who want to see it have watched it. The people who liked it have commented on it. Right? You don't need to announce to the entire world what you've done. If the world wants to communicate with you, they'll get in touch with you. I would love the world to communicate with me, and I love communicating with you. I love the fact that this is the new generation, and that I'm here, one of the, the younger ones here at this generation, and able to pound some sense into the generation, but it's all going to go for nothing if you're all just going to compete against each other and believe it that way. You've got to act, compete, and then realise in the background that the entire thing is entertainment. It is one huge community. It's one where we can all stand in hand in hand and we can all go together. And I love watching videos and I, I, I can't believe that there's still racial discrimination and all this stuff on YouTube and I don't believe it should exist. And I believe that if anyone here stands with me, they should send a message telling me the same, that this is the next generation and we do not want to destroy it. Do we want to go like like governments go and protect it in such a way that we end up having all these missiles that could blow us up? We do not want this crap. We want to stand and we want a we have the freedom of speech and we have our own voice. But we don't want to use that voice to start fights and start wars. We want to use this voice in order to be known, in order to be part of a community, in order to be understood, in order to understand others. And I, for one, I'm so glad that I'm one of the ones that can stand up with the rest of the world and say that I want to fight against poverty and say that this is the technology that can do it and that I, here, am one of the ones who are doing something about it. I hope you all can have a heart and just realise that haters stop, change, do something. Some videos become part of the community. We all want you. We're all waiting for you. We're not going to hate you. We wouldn't hate you after turning around and saying haters become part of the community. Please.